Horror Spice, where everything's nice. I'm Horror Spice. And I'm Mrs. Horror Spice. And today, we're going to review Bad Hair. And... We're pairing that with Teak Hot Masala from High Desert Sauce. Its heat rating is an 8 out of 10. Uh -oh. <laughs> Drawing inspiration from the classic Tikka Masala sauce, we've packed flavors of an entire meal into a bottle. Tikka Hot Masala features a vibrant blend of sweet and savory flavors with creamy coconut milk and earthy spices. The one-two punch for ghost peppers and Carolina Reapers will knock you off your feet. And the heat, this sauce is over the top. Try a few dashes in soup on any rice dish, chicken, lamb, for an unbelievably delicious, oh, I'm pulling at the wrong thing. Stubborn bottles. That's pure stubborn. So, it's got uh, zero calories, 1% uh, of sodium, which is 15 milligrams, uh, one uh, gram of carbs, less than one gram of carbs. Uh, it's got 0 0.1 milligrams of iron. Uh, bad hair says, in this horror satire, set in 1989, bad hair follows an ambitious woman who gets... Uh, in a weave in order to succeed in imagine obsessed world of music TV. However, her career comes to, uh, with a cost that she realizes her new hair has a mind of its own. Starring L. Loren, J. Farrah, Lena Waithe, uh, Keith Rowland, Laverne Cox, directed by Justin Samin. It is rated MA, Black Stories, Hit Horror, Movie 2020, an hour and 43 minutes long. Mm. There's a step I forgot to do. Shake it. <laughs> there we go. We had a plug, people. Well, now it's trying to come out the top. <laughs> Don't want to come out here too. There we go. It's really thick. It doesn't even want to come out of the bottle. I think they made it a little too thick. Oh, you're telling me good luck? <laughs> Here is mine. Link in the description to Hulu where you can find Bad hair. Okay, I got it. 
One, two, three. That's got soda in it. That's going to just make it worse. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm going to speak before it goes on. <laughs> this is a great movie, guys. I thought... I was told that the, the action doesn't... So beginning until about halfway through the movie. So I wasn't, you know, expecting a whole lot in the beginning. But honestly, from beginning to end, it was like a rolling snowball. Between the folklore and the girl's story. And they went and she learned about things in the folklore at different times. And uh, sometimes it was a little too late. But I will tell you something. This is a great movie. I don't want to say too much about it. Because it will ruin it for you. If you haven't seen it. I don't want to spoil it. But definitely check it out. It's a great story. About uh, a woman struggling. Uh, to succeed. And uh, um, the links that uh, black um, and African American women have to face in the workforce when it comes to working in front of the camera, when it comes to like movies or uh, television. Um, the folklore was amazing. Yes, it was. It was um, awesome. Um, don't expect uh, any gore, really. Um, and uh, the kills. Um, I think they did the best they could at, uh, at the time with technology. But uh, I see this one getting redone uh, over and over again every time technology uh, makes a brand new stride forward. Because uh, that's what really, I believe, that much into this movie. Definitely. Well, from Horror Spice. And Mrs. Horror Spice. Y'all stay creepy now. Bye. Bye.